Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're talking about cedar removal. We're going to talk about why they're invasive and why they're not great for uh, the habitat. I'm going to be joined by private land conservationist Corey Gregg, and he's going to tell us all we would like to know and need to know about cedar removal. Let me turn this around and we'll chat with him. All right, Corey, so we're talking cedar removal. First and foremost, why are we wanting to get rid of those invasive cedar trees on uh, properties? Yeah, cedar, even though it's a native, um, it can be somewhat invasive, uh, not only in old fields, but also in the woods. Um, and it's shade tolerant, fairly shade tolerant. So a lot of times it tries to sneak in in the understory. So if you're not doing any burning or any active TSI, they tend to just kind of sneak in and create a mid-story layer that uh, hogs all the sunlight from getting to the, the ground layer. Now, coming in, when you say in hogging all the sunlight getting to the ground layer, so you so in this property, we can see a lot of cedar trees have been removed. Mm -hmm. And the purpose behind this is why? I mean, to get the uh, habitat to continue to grow or? Yeah, so you can see <clears throat> this was 100% canopy cover uh, with hardwoods and cedars, but it was primarily cedar trees. And so uh, there was virtually nothing growing down here on the ground, uh, on the ground layer. Uh -huh. um, and so you can start to see these little seedlings, oak seedlings starting to pop up. And then there's some native wildflowers and even some grasses here and there. And that's going to create a whole lot better habitat than basically nothing at all. Um, so this is eventually, this was just cut, so it's eventually going to really come back and a lot of the seeds that have been just hanging in the uh, dormant in the understory for so long are going to start germinating here pretty soon. And that's going to give food and cover all types of better habitat than the cedar trees do. So then, uh, so tell us then, Corey, what is the best way to remove cedar? I mean, I, I know on this one we cut, mm -hmm. but you were taught, we were talking earlier, it all depends on size, right? It does, uh, and kind of where you're at in the state. So if you have a lot of large cedar trees that are on average seven inches and greater, out to like 10, 12, 14 inches, um, and you have some cedar harvesters in your part of the state, um, then having a harvest is probably the best way to get rid of those. That way you're getting rid of a lot of the material mm -hmm. and all you're left behind with is just the limbs. Um, but it's kind of far and few in between for that option. So otherwise, a lot of it's just kind of drop and leave. Um, you can see this landowner has been piling as he goes and they're planning on burning these piles. So it's not spread uh, mm -hmm. evenly across here, but you can also do that. You can drop them, leave them lay for a year or two. You can do a prescribed burn and um, burn up some of that cedar slash. And then you could chunk it up and pile it and burn it in the smaller piles one after it's dried out and gotten light. Um, but then also if it's just real small stuff in the understory of your woodlands, just going through with a chainsaw and dropping them right where, uh, where, where you cut them. Mm -hmm. um, with cedar, the good thing is you don't need to use herbicide. As long as you don't have any more green live tissue on there, um, that tree dies. So you don't need to use herbicide. You just drop them and leave them and that's it. If you got questions about, you know, cutting and removing cedars off your land, where where should they contact? Who should they contact? We have private lands foresters and private land conservationists for every county in the state. So you can definitely contact them, uh, go on to our website, and you can just do a search by county, find out who that is, and uh, you can have them out to your property, no cost, and they can give you an idea of what the best avenue would be to get rid of those cedars. Um, they may have contacts of cedar cutters in your area, um, or you know, if that's mm -hmm. not an option, uh, otherwise, just go to the website and, and get some more information there. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Corey. Echo what he says. Check out our website at mdc.mo.gov to gather more information to help you determine if you need to remove cedar off your property.